Raise me up so I can stand on mountains. You raise me up to more than I can be. No, I'm getting confused now with the word. started off um, as a youngster after school. I actually had a friend of mine that was in the fire service and he inspired me uh, to also join the fire service. And um, I was fortunate enough to be appointed on the 8th of March 1986. I then asked the question, um, what do one do you know, to get through the ranks? Uh, the ones that have started before me has left. There's the ones that have started with me has left. Yeah, and I'm, I felt that I'm, I'm the, you know, the last man standing. It became very interesting for a local boy to actually become the fire chief of his own town and have that responsibility placed on my shoulders to actually protect uh, my community. My biggest incident that I had to manage was in 2014, um, where I respond, had to respond to an incident that was threatening a school as well as 40 houses at the time, with a wind speed of about 110 kilometers per hour. And that in itself is, was an an almost like an impossible task. Mm. And that was one of the, th the, the, uh, the real incidents that I will always remember. I responded to a fire in, at the Settlers Monument, 1820 Settlers Monument, in 1996, uh, where the auditorium was well alight. Nobody knew that incident actually happened because it happened in the, in the early mornings. And with the, 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 there's always like a, in the morning when you wake up, you don't, can't see the monument. So it's like a cloud over the monument. So nobody saw smoke or, or whatever, and there was activity happening there. But that was one of the first interesting major incidents that I attended to. One of the things that, that I always um, ask God is that I've responded to many incidents, but I've never responded to an incident that involved a family member. And I'm hoping, and up to, up, to, up to now, I haven't responded to any of those. And I'm praying that I don't respond to an incident because I don't know what my reaction would be um, in that case. You can always build a building, but you can't replace a life. The legacy that I one day would uh, like to leave behind when I retire from this profession is to know or that I have done what I could, knowing that I could make a difference in terms of the protection of my community. But if you have a, a goal or a project, you always work towards achieving that. And that's how I would like to leave this place, knowing that I've, in my time, I've made a difference.